Mic check, mic check.
bit of a late start tonight thanks to DoorDash as always tonight I got a big bag of McDonald's that had nothing in it but drinks two drinks no food <clears throat> so I wasn't such a nice guy this time Pay to fuck attention, that's all I got to say. I got like $75 in credits for a fucking $30 order. I made it clear that the Dasher... It's not the Dasher's fault, because they can't check the bags. If the bags are sealed, they can't open the bags, and it had weight to it because the drinks were in the bags. So it was not the driver's fault, it was McDonald's. But still enough to piss you off, you know? Whoever's working the, the counter at McDonald's was at fault. <clears throat> All right, before we get started here tonight, get a few things out of the way. For the rest of this holiday season and into next year, if you don't already know, I am going to be taking up money on behalf of the Love Alive charity here in Jacksonville to benefit those less fortunate families in and around the North Florida area. Love Alive Charity was formed 10 years ago <coughs> by professional wrestler, excuse me, <coughs> Elijah Burke, as a way to help families in need by providing assistance with clothing, food, rent utility ex assistance, School supplies, any kind of need that somebody's family may need, the Love Alive charity has been there to try to fill the hole where they can. All donations go directly to the foundation through their website. You can pay with PayPal, Cash App, or mail them a check. And on January 8th, the Love Alive charity, in conjunction with NWA Power, Going to be holding an event here in Jacksonville, Duval Brawl 4, where the NWA World Heavyweight Championship, currently held by Trevor Murdoch, is going to be on the line against none other than the Vampire Warrior himself, Gangrel. Help if you can. It's greatly appreciated. And I'm doing all right, Calicott. How are you? a little irked. Making sure nobody needs any upgrades. <clears throat> we are got a couple of tough games on tap tonight. A rematch against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And then we play the Seattle Seahawks after the bye week. When's it end? Should be coming up soon, right?
At least a holiday break, though, huh? Then you're off till, what, January, February? We got our two starting star players. Running back D. Reed went out injured last week, and quarterback Capone went out two weeks ago injured. So we are hurting, hurting, hurting. And Govan also injured one of our safeties. Let's see, we are in week number eight. We're going to go week number nine. Ten is a bye week. I'm going to skip ahead to week number 12. And for those of you that don't know, I am using the original 1995 Tecmo Super Bowl three for the Super Nintendo. Uh, the previous 15 seasons that I've been playing with the Super Nintendo Tecmo Super Bowl 3, I was using a 2019 roster update that one of the Tecmo Super Bowl modders put out. But I decided to start over after 15 seasons of playing as my New York football giants with the original unmodified roster with an all-custom team. Every player on this team, as you can tell, was created from scratch. And the only way to really get better is to run the ball, to catch the ball, to make yardage, to make touchdowns, to tackle, to sack, to make field goals. The more success you have executing plays, the faster. All right, Capone coming back from injury. <clears throat> Govan coming back from injury. Bundy going to start out in bad condition. Oh, everybody's in bad condition. Good to go. Before I forget, Jacksonville has won the coin toss, and I am going to elect to receive. But before I do that, <laughs> we'll give some people a chance to win some points. Am I going to win? Am I going to lose? If you've been watching me play this game... You know that I ain't going to win. But just in case, I'm only going to wager a small amount with my... Normally I would bet against myself, but since 
I tend not to win these games. I am betting that I am going to win. So if you want to win the points, bet against me. Bet for me to lose. And thank you for the donation, Calicott. Forrest Gump to receive the ball gets 12 yards on that kickoff return. And the Jaguars starting out on their own 30 yard line. Capone hands off to Sloan. Sloan with a three yard loss on the play. Second down and 12 for the Jacksonville Jaguars, all custom squad. Over the middle to tight end Eddie Pence coming up short. Unable to pull that one in. Third down and 12. It's going to be a long night. Can't run the ball and we can't catch. It is going to be a long fucking night. You know, and I said I was going to finish off this season. Go ahead and just simulate the rest of the season and get on with it. I just can't bring myself to do that because we've already started. Deep to Aliandris. Aliandris with the catch to get the ball across the 50-yard line. But when we get to the end of this season, we probably after this week, we got another three weeks of this shit. I am planning on simulating the next season, at least one season. Second down and 14 for the Jaguars after that shallow attempt at a rush. Capone running it, picking up four yards on the ground. Third down and six for the Jags. Over the middle to Pence again. Incomplete pass. Fourth down and six ball on the 43-yard line. We are going to fucking go for it. We got nothing to lose. Everything to gain. Going deep to Eddie Pence. And of course we can't catch the ball. Because why would they want us to do anything right, right? Bam Morris going to get tackled behind the line for a three-yard loss. Second down and 13 for the Steelers. <clears throat> I mean, this is, this is really mirroring what the real-life Jaguars have done this season. Williams... Picks up about five yards on that carry. Third down and nine for Pittsburgh. Neil O'Donnell back to pass. O'Donnell going to try to run it himself. Picks up another three yards for the Steelers. And they are going to be forced to punt. We are going to look for the fake. Forrest Gump back to receive. Gump going to take this one. Dives. Picks up four yards on that carry. Ready, set, Got to watch for Rod Woodson here. Gump out of the backfield. Going to be short of the first down by about a yard. Second down and one for the Jaguars. Sloan fumbles. Oh, 
Jacksonville somehow miraculously recovered that. All those black and gold jerseys in the vicinity there. Oh, Capone hit as he throws. Gump incomplete pass. Second down and 10 for the Jaguars. Pittsburgh just dominating on defense. Sloan with the little shuttle pass. And Sloan picks up eight. Third down and one now for Jacksonville. Forrest Gump with the pitch. Gump gets to the flag and first down Jacksonville. Needed a yard, they got the yard. <laughs> Sloan tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of three yards. I may be... Cutting one of my running backs to bring in James Stewart next season, too. I just... I can't... If I can't run the ball, I'll just... And we overthrow tight end Eddie Pence. Go to the second quarter. Two. Tied up at zero. Third down and 13 now for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Gump, the intended receiver. Gump can't catch. Fuck it, we're going for it. And Forrest Gump with the first down. 19 yard gain on that play. Ball now at about the 50-yard line. Jaguars running. Sloan, another three-yard loss. I. This just drives me nuts. Third down and 11. Going deep to Deschnack, and it is picked off. I'm going to say that's probably Rod Woodson. Touchdown. Carnell Lake with the interception. Pittsburgh with the pick six. Forrest Gump back to receive. Normally you got to worry about Rod Woodson in the backfield there, but Carnell Lake, definitely another one to be concerned about with this Pittsburgh defense. Sloan only manages a yard. He's probably got minus 12 yards by about now. Second down and eight for the Jaguars. Sloan again loses the yard right back. Third down and nine. Over the middle, Eddie Pence. First down for the Jaguars. Finally. A little bit of positive momentum in the passing game there. First down and 10 now for the Jags. Forrest Gump takes the pitch. Gump breaks a tackle. Picks up only a yard. This is so painful. Red, 
Sloan with the pitch. Sloan, four-yard gain, third down and four. Capone back to pass. Hits the snack. The snack can't catch. Fourth down and four for the Jaguars. Capone going deep to Eddie Pence. Pence makes the catch. Gets out of bounds. Jaguars inside the 20-yard line. 37-yard gain. On that pass. Sloan. If I could just get five fucking yards at a time. Three yard gains. Something other than constant three yard losses. No gain on that one. Nope. I did manage to pick up two. Third down and 11. And Capone gets swarmed by that Pittsburgh Steel Curtain defense. I'm gonna go for the field goal just to get points on the board. That's going to shank. Only picking up a yard there for Pittsburgh. O'Donnell back to pass. Goes to Morris in the backfield. Incomplete. Third down and eight for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Donald, unable to make the connection, going to be punting again. <laughs> we are just going to fair catch it and go to the locker room. Pittsburgh leading 7 nothing. Jaguars, 104 yards of offense, 108 through the air, minus 4 on the ground. The minus 4 on the ground, Pittsburgh has on the ground. Pittsburgh, 4 yards rushing, 0 passing. And of course, right down the line there on the defense, Pittsburgh has 1 sack, 1 interception, and a forced fumble. Jaguars defense, no big plays yet. A big, big time of possession advantage for the Jags. We just have not been able to convert that into points. Woodson back for the Steelers to start the third quarter. And 
Woodson gets it to the 25-yard return. Gets it to about the 31-yard line. Going downfield to Hastings, overthrows. O'Donnell must be in bad shape, too. He is not making the connections tonight. <clears throat> Hastings finally making a catch for Pittsburgh. And Hastings down to the 20-yard line. Shit, 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 guys. Come on. You had to fucking blitz. You gotta get those guys. You gotta get them. Three yard gain on that one for Bam Morris. Third down and one now for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ever so closer to scoring again. And Williams easily into the end zone. Peach. Jen and Williams with the score. Gump getting a little bit of a run there. Unfortunately, I stepped out of bounds. Players in good condition now. So let's actually do something this time, guys. Bundy, not going to get anything on that. Gain on the play. Round, 
Eddie Pence with another catch. So far, Eddie Pence has been the only receiver worth a damn tonight. Third down and one for the Jaguars. What's up, Sheiky baby? Capone gonna run for that first. <coughs> first down. Bundy with the handoff going to get hit for a two-yard loss on that play. Second down and 11 for the Jags. This fucking shit. I am gonna delete this goddamn game. What is up, V Gifted? I am never doing this again. I'm telling you that right now. Fourth down and nine. The good news is we have been able to convert on these fourth and long. Bad news is we hadn't been able to score any points as of yet. Eddie Pence picking up 30 yards. How you doing tonight, V-Gifted? Hopefully better than me. <laughs> the snack in for the touchdown. V-Gifted bringing us some good luck here tonight. Extra point is up. It is good. Duval. And we are going to go for an onside kick. Probably not going to get it. Nope. Not going to get it. Giving Pittsburgh the ball back at the 50-yard line. Not the smartest thing to do here, but they've been having troubles tonight as well. It was 7 nothing going into the half. Incomplete pass. With 15 seconds left here in the third quarter. Jacksonville yet to get a turnover on defense, however. Pittsburgh has already had three. And Bam Morris... Going to pick up eight yards as we go into the fourth quarter. Pittsburgh leads 14-7. Third down and one for the Steelers. O'Donnell out. O'Donnell. There's what we needed, baby. There is the turnover we needed. And Govan, with the interception, Govan the custom player for my pal Lid, a.k.a. Govan. Cat, please. I don't think Cat's impartial. If you don't already follow him, give him a follow. This is my Twitch stream. This is not the US of A. There is no impartiality here. Ainsley, 
Impartiality. That's what impartiality. How you doing tonight, Ainsley? Oh my God! He sided with you. Wow. Way to go, Cap. I'll remember that. <laughs> I'm all right. I, I kind of shot myself in the foot there when I said what I just said. <laughs> You're my world, Grandma. What? 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 <laughs> Going downfield to the snack once again. Oh. Incomplete oh. pass. Oh. Of course, the little O down there at the end. When they realized the only reason I sided with Ainsley was because she gifted five subs to my channel last week. Oh, unable to connect, Aliandris. Third down and ten. Pittsburgh in the dime. Pittsburgh bringing the house. Aliandris unable to make the catch again. Fuck it, we're going for it. Going downfield to Fresley, and it is batted down. Can't catch, can't fucking run, can't tackle, can't do nothing with this team. Three-yard loss. Second down and 13 for the Steelers. Neil O'Donnell hits the receiver. Hayes picking up a couple of yards there. Third down and eight now for Pittsburgh. Donald to John L. Williams again. First down. Got him in the flat. Got the first down, and they are threatening to score. Open in the back. We got time. We just ain't got the players. I'm going to delete one of these running backs and get James Stewart back in here. That's how desperate I'm getting to have some semblance of a run game.
just get some improvement on the receivers and the line. Eventually, this run game is going to start clicking. I just hate being an all-passing team. I like to run the ball, and I cannot do it with four running backs that can't run. At halftime, I had 108 yards total offense for Jacksonville. Minus four yards rushing, 104 yards passing. At halftime, Pittsburgh had four yards rushing, zero yards passing. That's how dominant I was defensively in the first half of this ball game. And then a couple of turnovers basically fucked us. Hey, Taco, how you doing? How'd the rest of your stream go? I had to tap out about 8.30. We gotta get Taco a new clip. Show off that fiery red mane she's got going on now. I'm in a pissy mood, Taco, because... Oh, well, you knew about my DoorDash fuck-up again tonight. Where they show up with a bag of McDonald's and all that was in the bag was two drinks and drink holders. I've got D3 installed on this computer. I might start playing it again since I'm not planning on going back to Warcraft anytime soon. And then my good mood, my, my shitty mood turned even shittier once I started playing this shitty team again. I shouldn't let it affect me like it does, but it's just not fun, you know? It's not fu If I'm not having fun, then nobody's watching me having fun. All I'm doing is bitching about how bad the team sucks. It's like being a real Jaguar fan. So wound up with minus five yards rushing. So I actually lost another yard there from where I was at minus four at the half. Pittsburgh, 10 yards rushing, 86 yards receiving and passing. The big tail of the tape there though. Two sacks, two interceptions and the fumble recovery. Turnover, turnover, turnover. The story of this season so far for this Jaguar upstart all-custom team. <sighs> I just... If I could just start getting positive yards rushing the football, I wouldn't be so goddamn grumpy about this shit. But I don't want to go in and and make and delete my custom players because then it defeats what I'm trying to do here but I'm just not having fun doing this give him a little more speed Eddie Pence getting some bumps here Eddie Pence little bit of body balance for him. Harlow getting some improvement points. What season are they on now in, in uh, Diablo? Like 20-something? Twenty-five, Jesus Christ. That game's been out since, what, 2012, 2013? 
I got it for free when I subbed the WoW for six months. Only one defensive player getting improvements. That's the way it's been. Getting one defensive player every game with improvements. And I need to get like three of them a game with improvements. Okay, we are one and eight. Going into week number 10. Actually, we'll be going into week 11. Because we are off in week 10. We have had 130 points scored in our favor. And 481 against us. This is normally reversed. Uh, we'll see who voted for who. Hopefully you guys didn't waste your points on voting for me to win. Calicut Iron Sheik Jr. Got the points. I'm going to head to the Twitter machine real quick. And we'll run a couple ads real quick. Got to keep the lights on after all, right? Can't keep coming here sucking every Tuesday night if I got no electricity. the attack. And if you got a Twitter and you haven't voted yet, be sure to go vote for this week's bonus team for tomorrow night's prediction stream. When I checked before I started streaming tonight, we are at a dead tie, four to four. I don't care who you vote for as long as you vote for one or the other. And we are gonna play through the bye week here. It's going to be the Ravens and the Packers playing this week in the bonus game. And like I said, we had a 4-4 tie going into the stream tonight. I haven't been promoting this week's game as much as I normally would, so... Not as many people voting yet. 
But there's 20 hours left to vote, so if you have Twitter, please go vote. Out of the two teams, I would prefer to play as the Ravens, truth be told. But if the Packers win, so be it. Because we all know that no matter what I do here, <laughs> as evidenced by my 12-1 record playing as the Giants on the prediction stream, and the Giants are only 4-7 and seven in reality, the uh, outcome of the prediction stream doesn't always help to cosmically determine the outcome of the real game. Giants have just been horrendous this season. They came in with a lot of potential at the beginning of the year with some of the pickups that they had offensively in the offseason. But uh, injuries and... Poor play. Just seemed to constantly plague the team. So, all we can do now is just hopefully win a few more games and hopefully Joe Judge doesn't get fired at the beginning of the or the end of the season because I think he deserves at least another year. Van's in bad shape. Balance is in bad shape. What is my line looking like? Demeternoff is in bad shape. Bricko's in bad shape. Columbo's in bad shape. Bring Tony Becton in. We'll bring I Stop You in. No, he's in bad shape, too, so I might as well leave them in. Offensively, still going to be without Reed for another week. Al Bundy in bad shape. Gump's in bad shape. Jesus Christ. gonna win am I gonna lose I think you all know the answer to that but you can still win some prediction points here I am gonna vote for myself to win so your best bet would be vote for me to lose you can enter as little as 10 points or enter as much as you want Am I going to win? Am I going to lose? Now this game, in reality, 1995, I was at the stadium. Jaguars coming back off the bye week, their first season in existence in 1995. And they got smoked by the Seattle Seahawks, who at the time were playing pretty decent football. I think the Seahawks were still in the AFC West at this point. I don't think they had moved over to the NFC just yet. Bates with the return. They had a rookie receiver named Joey Galloway on the team. Chris Warren in the backfield. Rick Meyer under center. And Joey Galloway smoked the Jaguars' defense for like a 90-yard touchdown. 13-yard gain on that play. Meyer making the connection. It's a blitz. 
And Warren going to lose two yards. Second down and 11 for the Seahawks. Meyer rolling out. Meyer going deep to Blades, and it's picked off. Jaguars defense, Govan with another big sack. Or another big pick. Not a sack, a pick. Second interception tonight on stream for Govan. Hand off to Doug Sloan. Doug Sloan. If you're thinking to yourself, Cap, who the fuck is Doug Sloan? Doug Sloan is a friend of mine that I met back in around 1988-89. Went to school with him for a few years. Maintained our friendship out of school. Probably one of the best friends that I ever had. At least when I was in my late teens, early 20s. And sadly, Doug died in a drunk driving accident Memorial Day 1998. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. God damn it. And it would be not a, not a fucking turnover for me that's going to go in my favor without it going right back in Seattle. With the fumble and the pickup and the fucking touchdown. Because I can't have nice things on this stream on Tuesday nights anymore. Because I made a foolish decision to make all custom players. Instead of doing what I did with the Giants and bringing in one or two new custom players a season. I made the entire fucking roster custom this time around. And I'm just not having fun. Sorry. You don't like it, don't watch. I don't care. Come back on Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday when I'm playing Tecmo. Those games will be much better. I just don't want to quit. I don't want to take the, the shit way out. And fucking simulate games just to get stats. When I'm already halfway through the season. I want to play the rest of this season out. Just take my fucking lumps. Then I'll simulate a season. Off stream. And then when we come back in with season 17 on stream. Hopefully. We come back with a much stronger team. Still going to be clawing our way through games. Because you, know, you ain't going to improve a team that much in one season. But it will hopefully not be this god-awful because, Jesus Christ, I can't take this. It's hurting my heart. Al Bundy. No gain on that play. Oh, they're going to give him a yard. Third down and nine now for the Jaguars. And Capone gets put on his ass again. Loses 11 yards by Cortez Kennedy. I remember when Cortez Kennedy got drafted. Yeah, I don't have a taco on the team. Oh. Another turnover. Big surprise there. Gene Robinson with the interception that time. No, I just had a certain amount of people that I could add in. And I had to have a, my meme players return. And I wanted to do a couple of tribute players for dead friends. And I had a lot of people that I wanted to put on the offensive line as a thank you for the people that have supported the stream financially over the last year. So my offensive line is made up with uh, with those people. And Spectre coming in with the sack.
gotta remember his uh, Twitch. the Twitch stream for him. Oh well. Third down and 22 now. And Chris Warren out of the backfield. Fumble. Jaguars, god damn you motherfuckers! Not even fast enough to recover a goddamn fumble. And a fucking. Five-yard gain for Chris Warren on that play. Blue 48, blue 48. Second down and four. Warren again. Going to get enough for the first down. Needed four, got five. Warren again stretches and gets the touchdown. Thirteen yard touchdown for the Seahawks. Oh boy. You just be glad that you're not a part of this atrocity. This team blows. I made the wrong choice. I should have built it slow. I know that now. I knew that the first time I played. Al Bundy going to get buried. Four yard loss on the play. Andres picking up the first down. 28-yard gain on that play. Going downfield to Frasley. Frasley just shy of the first down. Second down and one now. Doug Sloan. Oh, fuck. Can't. Can't run. Can't run. Can't run. Incomplete. Big shot there. Fourth down and four. Seattle calling an audible. Eddie Pence making the clutch catch for the first down. 26-yard gain on that play. I'll have a great tight end. As far as the skill position players go. Two-yard loss. Can't get anything going on the run great run game. Another five yards lost on the run game. 
I don't know why I try to keep running. I can't run. But if I can't run, I can't build stats, so... Capone into coverage. Incomplete pass. Should have gone for a field goal, but fuck it. Of course it's a turnover. Oh, this is terrible. I think I just want to fucking blow this game up. I want to blow this team up after this week. I don't want to play this anymore. I can't do another three weeks of this. Sorry. LFR in World of Warcraft and play another week like this. Six yard loss, four to Sea Hags, third down and sixteen. Incomplete pass. And we're holding them to a field goal. Small little improvement there defensively. Got a few key plays. But ultimately, no turnovers. But we do keep them off the scoreboard. Small victory there. For a Jaguars team that desperately needs small victories to start coming more consistently. And complete pass. Capone avoiding a sack. And Touchdown. All right, we are done. We are done with this. I am just I'm done. I'm done. I can't I can't play this anymore. I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. I don't expect to come in here and win every week, but this is just getting ridiculous. We will be simulating the rest of this season. If you don't like it, unfollow me. As <laughs> simple as that. If you don't like it, unfollow me. I don't give a fuck about the stats. We are ending this monstrosity of a season. We are not seeing the progress. Unless this second half produces a lot more progress offensively, we will be simulating the rest of this season. I, I can't do this for three more weeks. I can't do this for three more weeks. I can't do this for three more fucking weeks with this team. 
Time to blow it up and start again. down 21 to nothing it's this is not fun for me i don't mind losing i i've lost pl this i have lost plenty but there's a difference between losing when you got a team that can actually compete and a team that has no fucking shot and this team ain't got no fucking shot it, it, it just I thought I could handle it. I've done nine games like this now. And I just it's too frustrating. We will be simming the rest of this season if the Jaguars miraculously win a couple of games. Good. But I <laughs> I can't do this anymore. This is just not fun. I'm saying that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, watch me not do it at the end of the game. Watch me be back here next Tuesday night with more of the same. I might just play another game tonight, play another play three games next week, just finish this season off. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a couple extra games tonight. And a couple of games next week and just cut this down at least. I mean, if you were here last Tuesday night, you saw me play with the legitimate 1995 Jaguar team against the same Browns team that beat us 63-10 to on the all-custom team. And we won that game 28-20. to That's the difference of playing with a team that was considered mediocre at best their first season. And the team that I made now admittedly I've been playing Tecmo Super Bowl for 30 years yesterday was the 30 30th anniversary of the release of the Tecmo Super Bowl on the regular Nintendo this game came out in 1995 Frasley with a dive and catch. First down. And I thought when I built these players that I had the stats weighted the optimal way to at least give myself a chance. And man, I just... I, I just... Like I said, I made the I made the wrong decision. Frazzly with the touchdown. Frazzle dazzle pudding pie scores again because she is fly. Frasley's picking up the touchdown. If you don't follow Frasley here on Twitch, you are denying yourself of pure joy. 
Frasley, one of the nicest streamers you will ever meet. She is a paragon for trans rights and has worked to build an all-inclusive community over on her Twitch stream. She's going to be celebrating four years as a Twitch affiliate here next month. Please give Frasley's a follow. You won't regret it. Plays a variety of games. Everything from Ocarina of Time on the N64, Stardew Valley, Subnautica, Mass Effect, just some of the games that Frasley's is currently streaming. She is on here at least four to five times a week. Her schedule has kind of been up in the air and modified a little bit these last few weeks because she's dealing with some job scheduling issues. Seventeen yard gain by Rick Meyer. Going deep to Blades, incomplete pass. Bernie Blades not able to pull that one in. Second down and ten for the Hawks. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a couple of extra games tonight, and we're going to go from five-minute quarters down to three-minute quarters. Just to get these games played by me, because I just... I don't want to I don't want to quit that way. I don't want to just say fuck it and sim everything. I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm just going to get my ass kicked the way that I said I was going to get my ass kicked. We knew we were going to get my ass kicked coming into this this season. I knew I was going to lose more than I was going to win. And that's not the part that bothers me. The part that bothers me is I just can't make it exciting at all on offense or defense. It's so few and far between when we actually get consistent, good play from these players. I mean, the, they just don't have the speed. They don't have the ability to jump and catch balls. And like I said, it's, it's different when you play with an established team and you bring one or two new custom-made players in every season. Starting out with an entire team from top to bottom with custom players, it's just, ugh. Unless you simulate five or six seasons, you're going to be seeing a lot of this for at least two or three seasons. And Cortez Kennedy is just eating me for lunch right now. Third down and 33. Oh, yeah. Very similar to that Jaguar Seahawk game in 
47 to 30 was the score of that game. The Jaguars were 3 and 7 at that point. Bricko coming in with a sack. Fucking A. Is this game over yet? They got another three minutes to go. Just end it. <laughs> no moss. No moss. head who I was going for. I don't know who the hell Meyer is trying to hit, but it definitely wasn't anybody in that was playing in the Blue team. 48. Blue 48. Cut, cut, cut. Hopefully all these sacks we've been getting tonight. Zidewinder picking up a sack. And see this, these stats right here. For running back, you want to have, obviously, ball control. You want to have maximum speed. And you want to have running speed. Forrest Gump was going to be exclusively a kick and punt returner. So I jacked his maximum speed up. But he just does not have the burst that I need. Bundy picking up eight yards on the ground. A little bit of positive yardage there for this Jaguar team. Sloan going to try to pick up the last two for the first down. Needed two, I got six. If I could do that consistently, I wouldn't feel so badly about everything, but it's like six-yard losses every time. Ball gets batted down. Never had a chance to be caught by Frasley. A minute 24 left to play in this godforsaken contest. Second down and 10. Ugh, I should have just thrown the goddamn ball. 
Six fucking sacks from Cortez Kennedy. I had an open receiver, and I cycled away from him. Going downfield, Eddie Pence with the catch. Pence to the 25. A 49-yard gain to the tight end. Ah, oh, another fucking fumble. Another turnover from this Jacksonville Jagoff team. Jesus Christ Almighty. Why not Cortez Kennedy? He's already sacked me six times. Might as well score on me too. Forty-seven to seven. Don't care about stats. I don't give a fuck about those stats right now. I don't even want to look at it. It's so fucking disgusting. We are going into week number 12 at 1 and 9. Five hundred and twenty-six points against me. It's usually me with this big point differential. Actually, that's five twenty-eight. It's usually me with the defensive domination. All right, we are going to look here at the schedule, the remaining schedule, we are heading into week number 12. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six games left. So if I play two more games tonight and then four games next Tuesday, we can be done with this season. Or I can take the quitter way out and simulate the final six games. I think I want to just play it out. I just want to play it out. I'll take the beatings. Got a couple of offensive upgrades and a couple of defensive upgrades. Govon picking up some more on the defensive side of the ball. Actually want to give him a little more quickness. Quickness is key for defensive players in addition to speed and hitting power. Demeternoff on the line. Getting a little bit of an upgrade. Eddie Pence, the only Offensive player consistently getting an upgrade. Give him a little more run speed. control to the quarterback. All right. I'm going to the Twitter machine. We're going to play two more games tonight. Play four games next week. Get out of this season.
All right. Here we go. We're going to go down to three minute quarters. I could turn off fumbles, I can turn off injuries too, but I'm not going to. These games will be a little bit quicker. Not even going to worry about channel point redemptions at this point. I actually... We're going to make it a little bit easier this time. Why can't I change? Let's see. Let's do it instead of will I win or will I lose, because I'm most likely going to lose. Will the computer... Score 50 points. <laughs> so right now my goal is... Will they score 50 points on me? We're not doing wins and losses. Will they score 50 points on me? I'm going to vote for hell yes. I'm going to put 2,800 points up. Not 28,000, 2,800. Shorter game, they shouldn't be able to score 50 on me. But as you saw in that last game, all those goddamn turnovers. And Michael Husted to kick off to Forrest Gump, and we are underway with some bonus action here tonight. This game in 1995 originally took place down in the old Big Sombrero down in Tampa. And me and my pal Bruce went on a road trip my buddy Bruce, Bruce Beard, who is the kicker for my Jaguar squad, was a longtime season ticket holder for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And when I first started hanging out with Bruce in 1993, I went to many a game down in Tampa with my friend. And of course, he got season tickets to the Jaguars once we got this team in 95. Third down and seven now for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Tampa Bay during this season wasn't much better than Jacksonville. Despite being a more established team offensively and defensively, Eddie Pence makes the catch, gets down inside the 10-yard line, and we got a 51-yard gain here on this opening drive. Doug Sloan with a three-yard gain, second down and four for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Eddie Pence over the middle, into the end zone, touchdown Jags.
Extra point coming up here. Bruce Beard to kick off. Ferdin back to receive. Take it from the five yard line. Now what the shorter time period does, obviously, other than speeding up the game, we're already under a minute here to play in the first quarter. Gives us a, a more realistic chance to win these games by having less time on the clock. When we first started playing this season, and Tampa Bay answering touchdown for touchdown, Jackie Harris, our tight end scores, their tight end scores. Jackie Harris, legendary tight end in the NFL. Played for the Bucks, the Packers. Extra point is up. It is good. The first two the first two weeks of streaming this season, I was playing seven minute quarters. Because I went from playing three games a night every Tuesday down to two. So I wanted to kind of give you the same amount of time. But those seven-minute quarters, you know, that extra 28 minutes that would have been a third game wound up producing, you know, 89 to, to 10 scores. So we went back to the standard five-minute games and tightened it up just a little bit. We were still getting blown out there, though, as you could see in that last game. So the three-minute quarters definitely gives us even more of a chance to try to win with this young team. Third down and four now. For the Jaguars as we go into the second quarter. Tied at seven. Going downfield to Frasley. Frasley makes the catch. Frasley out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. 36-yard gain for Frasley. And I probably should have been playing this whole season at three-minute quarters, to tell you the truth, just to, to ease some of the pain on me. I like the five- to seven-minute quarters, personally. Obviously, I play six-minute quarters in the 1991 Tecmo Super Bowl. Ah, uh, we got a fumble. But those extended quarters, unfortunately, just made my bad attitude very, very bad. So, if we can get through these two, get these remaining games here tonight, and then we'll have all four games next Tuesday, and then we'll be able to do a simulation season. Eric Rett trying to break one. Eric Rett brought down at about the 14-yard line. 41-yard gain on that play. Blue 48, blue 48. going to be met in the backfield for a 6-yard loss. Second down and 15 now for the Bucks. Incomplete pass. I think Craig Erickson is the quarterback this year. I haven't I didn't look. Should have been Erickson or Dilfer. It's Trent Dilfer. Of course, Trent Dilfer went on after having somewhat successful seasons down in Tampa. Dilfer went on to be a Super Bowl winning quarterback. <laughs> 
at the expense of the New York Giants in that 2001-2001 Super Bowl. And they go for a field goal. It's no good. Stor the score still tied at 7 here. Jaguars catching a break with 52 seconds left to play here in the first half. Al Bundy picking up seven yards on that play. As I said, we're playing against a Buccaneers team that probably isn't much better than this custom roster team. Aliandris with a stretch. Aliandris with a first down. 29 yard gain. And we're going to take a shot at the end zone here. Going deep for Eddie Pence. Peanut butter play. Touchdown, Jaguars! What is up? Look who's here, Bricko. How you doing, Bricko? You had a sack earlier, and I didn't give you the shout out. Because, quite frankly, I'm so fucking demoralized playing this game. I just haven't felt like shouting anybody out other than Frasley for the touchdown. Nice. That was crazy. We had a complete wipe. No. Yeah. Yeah. We did. We all died. Bricko playing World of Warcraft a couple times a week on stream. Here, here. I'm going to clip that. Bricko also the host of the Third Faction podcast. Along with Demeter Noth, Bricko and Demeter Noth anchoring my defensive line here with this all custom roster disaster squad. And at the half, the Jaguars with 19 yards rushing. We haven't seen positive yards rushing yet tonight. I went to three minute quarters. I just got tired of getting crushed. I don't want to simulate the rest of the season. I want to play it out. We got six games left. So I'm playing two extra games tonight. And then next Tuesday night, we're going to play four games and finish this season. And then we're going to do a simulated season just to build up stats for these players and come back for the on-stream season 17. Hopefully more competitive, because I can't take much more of this shit, man. This has just been demoralizing in every sense of the word. And as I said, if I'm not having fun, I don't mind losing. I've lost plenty in this game. I don't mind losing. I don't mind getting my ass handed to me every once in a while. But the key is to have fun. And when my players just can't do simple things like run two yards on a consistent basis it just has not been fun and I, I just don't want to stretch this season out longer than I need to so we will play the rest of the season out we'll just do it with shorter quarters for the remaining six games we're already one and nine And then we'll come back with hopefully a much better team for Season 17. <sighs> Forrest Gump back to receive. Forrest Gump still has yet to run 
and get that punt or kickoff return for a touchdown. Tampa Bay creeping up on the line of scrimmage. Doug Sloan slowly but surely picking up five yards. Second down and four for the Jaguars. And Bricko, are you and Lissy streaming tomorrow night, or is she off this week? I can't remember if she's off Wednesdays or just Saturday nights. Incomplete pass intended for Aliandra's third down and four. Incomplete pass intended for Eddie Pence. Ball on the 36-yard line. Fuck it. We're going for it. We are going for it. Oh, you're out of town till Thursday this week. Pence with the snag for the first down. 31-yard gain. What is up, Govan? Govan. Two interceptions tonight in the previous two games, Lid. Going deep for Aliandris. And we got an interception right on the goal line. Can we get a fumble here? Martin Mayhew with the pick. Tampa Bay backed up into their own end zone now. Eric Rett coming out of the backfield. Eric Rett going to get a big, big gain here. Eric Rett pulling Tampa's ass out of the fire with a 48-yard run. Oh, no, that was McDowell. My bad. And we go to the fourth quarter. Jaguars still lead 14-7. to Rett up top. Rett. Another big gain for the Buccaneers on the ground. 31 yards that time. Tampa Bay going to call a timeout. Rhett going down south. Rhett going to get stopped after only one yard gain. Yeah, Eric Rett was a good running back, man. He, uh... Touchdown. <sighs> Alvin Harper, 27-yard touchdown. A tie score here. Jacksonville going to have a couple minutes here to get down and get at least a field goal to win this game. Houston to kick off. Gump back to receive. Forrest Gump with 15 yards that time. Capone to Pence. Out of bounds. First down. Minute 39 left to play. 16-yard catch. Round 
And Tampa Bay bringing the fucking house with a fumble. God damn it! God damn it! I should have turned fumbles off like I said I was going to do, but I didn't because that's a fucking pussy way. If you play this game and you got injuries and fumbles turned off, you're a fucking pussy and you don't even deserve to play this game. Jacksonville's got to do something and got to do something fast. And if you don't like my language, fuck you. I don't care. I'm not censoring myself right now. I'm in a fucking shitty mood. Wow, fucking wow. send me a bag of food that ain't got no goddamn food in it. You're gonna piss this fat fuck off. Damn it! I fucking hit the button to fucking pass. And it did not fucking pass. ball game had a chance to win it but thanks to the fucking fumbles don't even care don't even fucking care fuck you and go fuck yourself, and go fuck your goddamn motherfucking mother. I will be so glad to get out of this fucking season. If you're on the fucking Twitter machine and you hadn't voted yet, get your ass over there and vote right now, motherfucker. Because I got a game tomorrow night that's going to be much more entertaining than this. I can promise you that. Aliandra's getting a bump. Let's see. Aliandra's. These receivers need a little bit more on the speed, so we're going to give her a little bit more speed. Aliandris, of course, of Dungeon Fables and Live Laugh Lore. Eddie Pence. Going to give him a little bit more agility to jump up and catch some of those hard-to-catch balls. Harlow on the offensive line. Uh, if you want to, you're more than welcome to. We can do an impromptu game of uh, of call, call the check, call in the plays. I'll, I'll I'll think about it and let you know. I got uh, Oogie Thirty Seven coming on Thursday night. He sent me a custom ROM. Of a homebrewed Tecmo Super Bowl team that he's gonna put me up against on Thursday night for the official chat calls the plays. But 
We can do one tomorrow night, too. No defensive players getting upgrades this time, sadly. But we got some more offensive improvements. We're going to play one more game, guys. Like I said, we're going to week 13 this week. Normally, this would take, with two games, we were going to be stretching this out another three weeks. And to be honest with you, I've had all I can take of this season. It, it, it's just, it hasn't been fun for me for about three weeks now. And I'm only doing you guys a disservice. You guys are tuning in, giving me your time, and I'm doing nothing but sitting here fucking raging and complaining about how much I hate it all the time. And that ain't fair for you guys. Yeah, I just made a poor decision on, uh, on doing an all-custom roster. Like I said, it wouldn't have been as bad if I would have started with the base Jaguar team because I played that bonus game last week with the regular 1995 Jaguar squad against the Cleveland team that beat the custom roster squad 63 to 10 and I beat the Cleveland squad 28 to 20 with the legitimate Jaguar team we're gonna go back to three minute quarters Aliandros is in bad condition. The Schnack's in bad condition. Ketchalot's in bad condition. We'll bring Bavaro off the bench. Forrest Gump going to come in for kick and punt return duties. He's in bad condition, too. Ricky Thrills in excellent condition. Govan in bad condition. Bring Sarith or Lex Rance in. Let's bring Lex Rance in. And we'll bring Sarith in. Meter Noth and Bricko. Bricko's in bad condition. Columbo's in bad condition. Alright. The Bengals and the Jaguars. Will the computer score 50 points, of course, or hell no? The hell no's won. Forrest Gump with the opening kickoff. We're going to do that one again. Congratulations to... Doesn't show me who won. Ainsley and two other people won. So we're going to do another one. Are they going to score 50 points on me? I am going to vote, of course. So if you vote against me, you got a better chance of winning. Yeah, we should just do all peanut butter play all the time, right? Just rotate the receivers in on peanut butter. Eddie Pence makes the catch. Peanut butter play to the 30-yard line. Bring the snack in. We'll do peanut butter again. 
I've actually won games doing all peanut butter play. I had Evan Ingram during one of the Giants seasons. Evan Ingram had like 300-something yards at tight end. It was all peanut butter for like half the, half the ball game. See, those defensive backs are going after it, but the snack pulling it in. Give a shout out here to Deschnack, another member of the Tecmo Super Bowl community. Deschnack also playing New World. Definitely their player of the game. He's got all the oh, he, he plays a lot of Forza, plays a lot of New World, plays a lot of Halo. Him and his wife, yeah, Sweet up. Honey. You got some room, guys. Variety oh, streaming a couple times a week. With me. Nice. This guy's pancaking everybody. Look at this guy. The snack is one hell of a nice guy. If you're not already following him, please give him a follow. He is a big Raiders fan in the NFL and a big Atlanta Braves fan. No doubt he was stoked. I can relate to the Braves fandom because my mom's aunt, my great aunt, Idy. Lived up in Northeast Georgia for most of the last 30 years of her life, and she was a humongous Atlanta Braves fan. I always hated the Braves because the Braves preempted Saturday night and Sunday night wrestling on WTBS. So anytime Dale Murphy and the Braves cut into my wrestling time when I was a kid, I was a, a Braves hater for years because of that. Because <laughs> I'm just a petty motherfucker. Kai Jonna Carter with the first down. And we got a fumble. We got a fumble. Are we going to have a Jaguar recovery? We've got a Jaguar recovery. The Jaguars with the fumble recovery, and who picked it up? Jeff Cothran. I don't know who the fuck Jeff Cothran is. That ain't nobody on my team. But it's setting us up on the five-yard line. Doug Sloan, a one-yard loss. That might have been Bricko. It looked like one of the, the defensive linemen was right there on top of it. Al Bundy unable to get that one past the defensive line. Third down and three now for the Jags. And Bundy not going to get into the end zone. Fourth down. We're going to kick the field goal because we're going for wins here. No. We were on that goddamn hash mark. And I just prematurely hit the button. Thought I had it. I can't even kick field goals in this game. All my players suck so bad. <coughs> Ty Jonna Carter with a big run here. Oh, Cothran, fullback. <coughs> Let 
They didn't show me who actually recovered the fumble, though. Darnay Scott stretching. Is this game over yet? I'm ready to be done for the night. 42 yards, Darnay Scott. Jesus Christ, I am so sick of this season. I want to be done. I may play all all four game, all five remaining games tonight. I just want to be done so bad. <laughs> oh, I believe in me too. I just need I need better players. I need stats. I need to build these guys up and get it to where they can be competitive. Right now, they're not competitive and just trying to pile in all, all of those. My mic's running hot. Trying to pile in all of those uh, custom-made players is just too much. But I wouldn't have known that until I tried it, so now I know. And as they say in G.I. Joe, knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Second down and ten for the Jaguars. Capone going to get sacked again. Artie Smith. Doug Sloan coming out of the backfield. Going to be broken up. Not going to be able to catch it. Fuck punting. Peanut butter play. We're just going for it. The schnack makes it going to be short. Turnover on downs. Not able to make plays when I need to make them. Carl Pickens. Fumble. Jaguars recover. Another fumble by the Cincinnati offense. Peanut butter. The snack unable to come up with it, and we're going into the half. Down... Or no, it's tied at seven. Jaguars minus one yard rushing. Cincinnati 58 on the ground, 42 through the air. We got to do better. We got to do better. We're onside kicking this motherfucker. Ah! And we paid the price for that one. Like I said, poor choices. Poor choices. Doing things with players that can't do them. Onside kicking is one of them. I don't care. I don't care. We know we're going to lose. I don't give a fuck. I just want this season to end. Oh, God damn. My running back ain't even fast enough to get out into the flat to catch a ball out of the backfield when I need a quick release. Loss of three on that one. First 
Al Bundy making the catch that time, though. I don't know if you guys know this, but Al Bundy once scored four touchdowns in high school for Polk High. And he scored five touchdowns as a member of the Giants team. Al Bundy getting some positive yardage on the ground there. A 17-yard run for Bundy. First time we've seen that in a while. Sloan going to get buried. We got 17 and we lose 6. because Why? Because we suck. Bundy again. Bundy going to pick those 6 back up. Plus 1. 7-yard gain that time. We're going to peanut butter. To snack in the end zone. Touchdown with the Jaguars. Eric Bieniemy awaits at the four-yard line. Twenty-eight-yard return for Eric Bieniemy, who should have a fucking head coaching job in the NFL next season. And if he doesn't, there's some owners that need their fucking heads examined. Of course, Kansas City not having another stellar. Offensive output this season because of injuries and COVID and But Eric Bieniemy Still deserves a shot at being a head coach bring him here to Jacksonville get rid of that piece of shit Urban Meyer that's coaching the Jaguars that don't want to be here no more. I Thought that was a mistake when they hired that motherfucker Sorry Lid, I know that Urban Meyer was like your guy for a lot of years, and he won some championships for you, but the guy's a fucking hack. And he's proven why he's a fucking hack this season. He can't have it his way, so he's fucking throwing everybody else under the bus. He's doing what Jack Del Rio did down here for seasons in... Tony McGee with the snag. First down, Cincinnati, 25-yard gain. Kajana Carter... Taking it to the house. This defense is gassed. They are not running fast at all. Demeternoff going to try to block. Couldn't get the block. But she laid that motherfucker out after he kicked it. Hell free to kick off. Gump back to receive. Two sixteen remaining in the ball game. Twenty six yard return for Forrest Gump. Jaguars need to get this ball in the end zone and fast. Going downfield to Aleandris. No, Bavaro with the catch. Out of bounds. Mark Bavaro with a big catch there for 42 yards. Ready. 
And Bundy. Bundy breaking those tackles. Bundy out of bounds and a first down. 13-yard gain for Bundy there. First down on the two-yard line. Sloan. And God damn it! God damn it! God fucking damn it! Field goal is down the fucking middle, baby. I don't know why I'm celebrating. We're still going to lose. We need a turnover. We need a turnover right here. Not going to get one. Not going to get... Instead, we're going to get a, a kick return on us. Four more fucking games, and we are done with this godforsaken season. Next Tuesday, this fucking shit ends. I don't even care. I don't care about the stats. I don't fucking care. Fuck the stats. We'll be going into week 14 at 1 and 11. Five hundred and seventy-seven points scored against us. A lot of those points coming in those first four games when we were playing seven-minute quarters. Hopefully next week we'll be able to get D. Reed back. Denver, Indianapolis, Detroit, and Cleveland to finish out the season. I'm sorry, guys. I thought I could do better, and I've been proven that I can't. But we got a lot of updates, and unfortunately not that many on defense. We got a lot of updates on offense. He'd probably be a good fit for the Vikings. Especially if he could work with Dalvin Cook. If Dalvin comes back next season. The offensive line going to be the ones that get the upgrades the most. But Mark Bavaro off that amazing catch that he made.
Just Schnack getting an upgrade at wide receiver. It's just hard, man. I, you know, like I said, I don't expect to win everything. I, you know, I just don't expect to win everything. I'm not going to win every game. Oh, that's Bundy that got the upgrade, not Sloan. I just want to be competitive. I just want to be competitive and not have... 15 fucking fumbles every ball game like I've been getting here doing this. And Capone getting another bump. This was a rough one, another rough one. Again, if you got a few extra bucks this season, I have been trying to raise money for the Love Alive Charity, which is a local not-for-profit organization here in the Northeast Florida area that has been doing good for the last decade, founded by professional wrestler, the Pope, Elijah Burke. They help people and families in need with things such as clothing, food, rent and utility assistance, school supplies, anything there may be a need for a family here in the North Florida area. The Love Alive charity tries to be there where they can and they can only do that Thanks to the generous donations of the public. You can donate to them directly at this link. It goes right to them via PayPal, Cash App, or if you want to write a check. And if you're in the North Florida area and you want to go see a live wrestling event January 8th, Love Alive Charity in conjunction with the National Wrestling Alliance Power going to be here in Jacksonville for Duval Brawl 4. And the NWA World Heavyweight Championship going to be defended here in Jacksonville for the first time in over 30 years as champion Trevor Murdoch defends against the Vampire Warrior, Gangrel. Oh my god. It would be appreciated if there is a little place that you can write on there. Hey, how'd you hear about Love Alive? Just tell them Cap sent you. They know who I am. They know I'm doing this. They've been retweeting me and, and re-gramming me on Instagram. So they know that I am doing this. But I am going to get out of here now. And again, if you haven't voted yet, please go to Twitter. Vote for who I'm going to play tomorrow night in the bonus. Bricko, I'll hit you up after this and see if we can make it work tomorrow. I mean, I, I'm, I'm game if you are. Maybe not for the Giants game. I don't, I don't Fuck it, I don't care. It's not like the Giants are going to win against the Cowboys anyways this week. Although it is in New York, so you never know. But definitely for the uh, Packers and Ravens game would be fun. Because I'd love to hear what a Minnesota Vikings fan has to say about Aaron Rodgers on offense. Especially if I have to play with that motherfucker. But that's going to do it for me, folks. Thank you for hanging out. I'm sorry that I'm such a fucking poor loser. I'm sorry I've got such a bad attitude. 
This shit has just taken the fucking joy out of life for me. Playing on this Tuesday night all-custom roster team. Things are going to change for Season 2. And I promise you, they're going to change for the better once we get past this initial season. I know what mistakes were made. And we should be in much better shape after I do a season of simulation after we get out of this first season next week. We'll play four games next week at three-minute quarters to get out of there. Hopefully we can pick up one more win. Thank you for hanging out. I'm going to raid my guest on Thursday night, Oog37, brewing up a homemade Tecmo Bowl game for me. And he's going to be on Discord with me Thursday night, 8 p.m., Eastern Time. Let's go over and say hey to Oogie. He's playing something right now. Randomizing something. The master of the randomizers. Take care, everybody. Have a great Wednesday. And remember... Fuck punting. And fuck McDonald's on Cassett, too, for giving me a bag of nothing but drinks tonight. You assholes.